In this video, we're going to have a look at one of the most common connectivity problems in SQL Server Analysis Services. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. SQL Server Developer is brilliant. For no money, it allows you to be able to have on your own computer a fully working version of SQL Server, just like the Enterprise Edition, albeit that it is for a non-production environment. So it allows you access to SQL Server reporting services, integration services, SQL Server itself with the TSQL and database administration, but also SQL Server analysis services. And back in 2012, the developer edition cost around 200 US dollars. It wasn't free. Now you can just go to a website like this. So all I did was Google download SQL Server and you can download the very latest version, whether it's the 2019 version or the 2022 version when it comes out, and install it on your own computer. You do not need a full-blown server. So you install it and you want to experiment with SQL Server Analysis Services, and that involves making a cube. And you can do this fairly swiftly. But then there comes a time when you want to deploy the cube so that you can actually go to the next stage and draw information from it. And you can do this in Visual Studio with a free extension. So all of this is free for you to experiment. And if you want to know how to install Visual Studio with the SSAS extension, then there's a link at the top of this video. But you start trying to deploy it and you may get this. A connection cannot be made to ensure the server is running. Or how about this? The project cannot be deployed to the local host, so that's on your own computer server, because of the following connectivity problems. And you're going, okay, I can't connect to my own computer because of a connectivity problem. And you might be going, okay, that does not make sense. Why cannot I connect to my own computer? And it could be that you've missed one crucial step. So here I am in the SQL Server Installation Center. So that you will see this when you're installing SQL Server, unless you installed the basic setup. So I'm going to go to installation and the very top item, new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. Now, if you want help installing SQL Server backend, then I have a video on this as well. And you'll find that hopefully at the top of the screen. So if I click on this and I will be looking at my existing installation or adding in a new instance of it. So let's click on next just a few times. And here I got the option to perform a new installation or add features to an existing installation. So let's say I wanted to add features to my existing installation. So I've already got it installed. I don't want a second instance. So let's click on add features and it will take me to the feature selection. And you can see what has been checked, what has been selected. We have got the database engine services. So that allows me to open up SQL Server management services and use the database with TSQL statements, a select statement, for instance, as well as doing database administration. But very little else has been selected. We've got the SDK. That's a software development kit but nothing else. And importantly, you'll notice that analysis services has not been checked. So if we go back to my error message, a connection cannot be made to ensure that the server is running. What I've got is I've got the front end, Visual Studio, but I haven't got the back end that it wants to connect to. So I've got something that I can type into and create the cubes, but not something to actually host the cubes on. So if this is the case, then I need to ensure that analysis services is checked. So let's check that. And you notice when I do that we have got new things on the left hand side. So let's click on next. It goes into the server configuration. This is fine if I'm just having this on my own computer. So let's click next again. And here is a very important thing, analysis services configuration, because there are three different server modes and it's really the first two that I want you to consider right now. The MDX version. So this is the version that's been with SQL Server since around the year 2000. 
So this is the old fashioned version of doing it, which can create huge queues. And if you're in a bigger business, this is probably the one you've got. Then there is a Tableau mod. This came in SQL Server 2012, and it's the same sort of engine that goes behind Power BI and Excel Get and Transform Data. And what's important here is that you can only have one server per installation. So if you just have the default, the Tableau mod, then you will not have access to the multi-dimensional mod. So here we have a different error message and let's have a look at the bottom. You cannot deploy the model because this desktop is not running in multi-dimensional mode. So whoever installed this SQL server is running in the default tabular mode. So to avoid that error, you need to change the server mode to multi-dimensional and data mining mode. Then, if this is just going to be on your own computer and you're using it for testing purposes, you should have administrative permissions. So in other words, you're setting up the cubes, you want life to be as easy as possible. So click on add current user and your name will come here. And then you can go through the rest of the installation as it occurs. Now, what if you have already installed it in the tabular mode version? What should you do? Well, it depends. Are you going to be using it in the tabular mode? If the answer is no, then what you should do is we're going back to the feature selection and you should get rid of analysis services. So you should de-check it and then go through to the end, which I can't do here because I'm not actually making any changes and it will remove analysis services. Then run this again and check analysis services and then go into the analysis services configuration and select multi-dimensional and data mining mode. Now, what if you wanted to do both? Well, for that, as I say, you can't have it on the same instance. So you would need to perform a new installation of SQL Server. So here, the developer edition, if I was using a paid for version, then I'd have to have a second paid for license. So you will not generally find both the tabular and the MDX in production versions, unless they've got the luxury of having two servers and two sets of payments. And so if I'm setting up a brand new installation, then I can say I want analysis services on this second installation. I would need to give it a name because this would be a named instance. And give it an instance ID and you'll be connecting to this particular installation when you connect. And then you can then have this instance with the multidimensional as opposed to the tabular mode. So what do I mean by you need to connect to a different instance? Well, suppose I was doing this in SSMS and I click connect database engine. I can go to the server name, click on browse for more, expand the database engine and you can see I've got two different instances on my computer. So I can say I can connect to this one or I can connect to this one. So they're completely separate SQL server with different files, different configurations. And in this case, this one happens to be a 2019 version and this one a 2022 version. So you just need to make sure you're connecting to the right server. So if you find that you're having connectivity problems, if a connection cannot be made because of connectivity problems, or if your model is not running in multi-dimensional mode, then what you need to do is to rerun the installation. You can update your existing installation and make sure analysis services is checked. But when you get onto the instance configuration, be sure that you select the right mode as you can only have one per installation. And if you're running this for educational purposes on your computer, I would add yourself as an administrator for analysis services. Well, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you found it useful. Well, if I can help you further with SSAS, then I hope you'll consider joining me in my Udemy course. In seven and a half hours, 
we will have a look at how to create cubes. We'll do that fairly quickly, but then we'll have a look at enhancing them and then querying them using your own MDX statement. A link to this course is in the description to this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not like it? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you can be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.